But we got a lucky ticket. I'll explain what these do. Basically, you scratch and sniff, and yeah, you get you get something. So in this case, we get back to Origins, which is a level from Rayman Origins. Oh, that's cool. Or you get a creature, um, or you get lums, or you get a teensy. Okay. The deadly lights. Oh. When I was in Portugal, there was a shop that looked like Teensy's. It was a lingerie shop, but the important... No, it was a, it was a shop like that. It did have lingerie in the front and so Okay. Stuff. And every time I looked at it, I thought it said Teensy's, as in... It not. It was... It, yeah, it was it sounded like it said, no, Teenies. Teenies. So I thought it was people with small boobs, because, you know, nah. And anyway, moral of the story is, I thought the shop said Teensy's, and all I can, ima and, and all I can imagine was the Teensy's running around in lingerie that was on the shop front. Which is, was weird. I don't know why my mind came up with that, but whatever. Yeah, that is weird, right? <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, you are weird. You can move on now, it's fine. You, 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 you oh, made your oh, point oh. quite clear. Oh god! Save me! Oh well, that was close. I was surprised oh, by that. Is there anything up here? I feel like there should be, but I don't feel it. Like, nah, there's no way to get up there. Not a chance. Oh, that phrase. My friend used the phrase all the time. I feel like this. And I feel like that, even when she means I felt like this and I felt like that, is I. F no, no, wait, what? <laughs> Never mind. She uses the phrase all the time. It's like, instead of saying, I. Whatever, I can't roll you. I, I don't know what I was supposed to, but fuck. Words. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. I tried to start the mower up this morning and it wouldn't start. About 10 minutes later, I was just like, this, why won't you start? So I gave up and that was my day over and done with. Sounds like a good day. Yeah, it was so productive. Oh, I also watched the um, Breaking Bad special of um, of um, Mythbusters. Oh, really? There's I'm a... kind of disappointed by it, to be honest. Yeah, they basically they, they took them an hour. There was a shortened down version that I watched. It was like half the, literally half the time. It took them half an hour to show just like you know how Mythbusters usually repeats. Yeah. Like, they'll when when you're watching, it'll be like now for the advert break. Now for a ten minute recap recap of what we saw fifteen minutes ago. Well, this had been all that cut out, so it was a lot more interesting. Um, right. And it was about a half an hour, and I watched it, and they had, obviously, the creator of Vince Vaughn and the person who plays Jesse Pinkman, who, who who was sporting, I think, a, was he a beard? He looks quite... like his face has filled out a bit since filming, which isn't a negative thing. Mm. But, um, anyway, they basically, they covered the one... This, this is... This isn't spoilers because these both of these are from the first couple of episodes. If you haven't seen them, it's not a spoiler anyway. Yeah. Um, the one where Walt, the, the scene which everyone's seen where Walt's being a badass and throws a thing against the ground and oh, the building. Oh, that is an amazing scene. The Mercury, um, oh, what was it called? Mercury something or other. And then they were doing the bath scene, obviously, where they put acid in the bath and then oh, the yeah. bath went, yeah, dissolved the body and then it went straight through. Yeah. And they basically proved them both to be incorrect. But, well, who cares? Incorrect. But the thing which annoyed me is they actually managed to effectively blow out the windows and blow out their little fake house they made using this stuff. Now they didn't throw it against the ground to make it, but it's still like, what's the word? It still blew shit up. And that was the most important thing about that. To be honest, the one thing about the bath one which annoyed me is they basically tested it with one type of bath. I don't know about you, but I didn't have a cast iron bath. My bath is, I'm pretty sure, fiberglass or something. Yeah, that's true. And it was like they didn't test it till about the very end. And it just, there were a few things like that you just look at. Because also, when they tested the um, the mercury stuff, which you threw against the ground, I forget the second thing. Um, they didn't test it in crystal form. They only tested it in in regular um, in regular powder form. And obviously, with crystal form, it's a lot more compact and. It's more. It, the sh shock will more, more will detonate it a lot quicker. Sorry, sorry, less force will detonate it. So you, if you threw it against the ground, it probably would detonate. However, you know, in that scenario, it would have worked. But they used all this. They used all the um, the stuff before it's turned into crystals. If that makes any sense. Yeah. And um, apparently, when it's in crystals, it's a lot more likely to explode. Blah blah blah. But it's but apparently, to make it, you need to have uh, hands of just steel. Because it, any anything will just set it off. But other than that, there's like a plausibility in what they were doing. You know, it was it's like there's there's it's possible for this to happen. It's just sometimes when Mythbusters do an episode of something, I just feel it wasn't scientific enough. Yeah. Like there were things they could have done to test it further that maybe they didn't do. I mean, again, they just I don't know. I I, I always get this feeling that sometimes it's like I get annoyed because. It wasn't scientific enough in the testing, and I would have done it differently. Blah blah, blah whiny whiny moan, bitch bitch bitch. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> I have a little rant about oh! my. Oh. Uh... Okay. Oh, nicely done. I didn't realise. 
Yeah, this is taking a massive turn in difficulty. Yeah, it looked like that. I can tell by the fact you stopped talking a little bit. The things are concentrating. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself because I want to go that way because there's something over there. Yeah, so there yeah, whatever. I'm done. I'm done with life. Life balls me. There is something over here. Oh, Secret good. door. This better be the queen because I've missed one otherwise. See, I sold my first thing on eBay recently. I was like, what is this money that I've made myself? Because um, I uh, bought Sonic, Sonic Adventure. No, Sonic Adventure, that one's selfish shit. Um, I thought you'd appreciate that one. Um, yeah, yeah, I would. You're right. I bought Sonic All Stars on the Wii U for £7 from. Where was it? It was HMV. They were just selling it really cheap. So I bought it and then I sold it for £15. So, you know, the entrepreneur, the entrepreneur that I am. Yes. Whatever the words that make that sentence work. Um, but I went on the I find all my deals out through an app called Hot Deals UK. Oh which, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is pretty good. And when when I first saw this deal, five uh, sorry seven pounds for um, um, Sonic All Stars Transformed blah blah on the Wii U. It was like someone bought a hundred of them. So essentially, he bought them at seven hundred pounds. He you know he, he put down. And, and, and after he sold them, he essentially made seven hundred more pounds if he yeah. sold them double the profit. And I was like, was it hundred? Was it like fifty or something or forty nine? It was ridiculous. Yeah, it it's like, um, it's like there was uh the entire Looney Tunes Gone collection that was on sale for like it was really it was something ridiculous like six pounds down from like. 40 or something I was like buying five right now and then um, I got an email saying um, sorry this is an error do you st um, do you still want it I'm like shit <laughs> no I don't <laughs> yeah I've had that so, so no one that you get that we had this um do you like duck crispy duck uh, yeah that's not bad oh awesome good I'm glad we've got that sorted out that's, that's, <laughs> like, that's like the beginning of all friendships do you like duck no never mind it's, it's fine Nice knowing you. Shake hands, walk off, bite to the dog. Um, but we we went to we went to Sainsbury's. This is a rather boring story, so if I hype it up, it's because Duck is amazing, not because of what Ow. happened. Yeah. And we basically we went in, we saw this duck laid out, it was like seven pounds for like half a duck, which is quite good nowadays. Or was it like even though it was like was it sit fight, it was a cheap price for half a duck. We're like, oh, let's get it. We get to the till and like, oh it's not scanning as this. So we're like, well, well, it says over there that it was this press. They go back and actually find out that they put them all, put all the ducks out in the wrong place, so we get the duck for cheap. Nice. I was like, yeah. And um, this happened in like as to so many times. I like got honey puffs for like ridiculous like a quid. I, mean, I miss honey puffs. honey puffs. I should get some honey puffs. You should get some. Crave. I'm into crave at the moment. Or curiously cinnamon. I don't like cinnamon normally. I curiously miss cinnamon. so much shit. <laughs> you know, you miss just miss sugar puffs. It's fine. I miss so many things. Oh god, there's a t-shirt that's half, half price and I don't know whether to get it. Th this game has taken a ridiculously difficult turn. <laughs> well, it's Rain Man, so there was some point where it was going to be ball-breakingly difficult. Like, I don't know where any of the things were. I swear I got them all. I, I didn't oh, see good. where they could have been. Yeah, so this, this basically means that it might be, let's just play through the levels then, come back later on when we've got... Uh, Wait, are all the lums blue? Yeah. Uh, no, the, those are the teensies. Oh, okay, my, my bad. That is one hell of a lot of teensies. Right, I'm going to try that again. I'm sure this right, time if I gonna... focus my energies, I can find what I'm looking for. Focus your... Oh, how many Pokemon cards do you have? Just out um, of curiosity. Since I haven't collected them in years, and I had most of them stolen... Um, oh, by shit. most That's I mean good. all, none. <laughs> oh, because I was looking back through a bunch of stuff, um, like Pokemon cards, and realizing that if I sold all the Pokemon cards for the amount they're supposedly worth, I'd make about seventy-eight pounds. Sorry, seventy-eight dollars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I was like, who would pay? Money is money. <laughs> so, yeah, who would pay that much money for Pokemon and stuff? So I decided that I'd actually start eBaying a bunch of Pokemon cards. Because I, 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 when we went to, I think it was like Menorca or something, we got obsessed, me and brother, brother were like buying Pokemon cards left, right and centre because they were so cheap um, yeah. compared to how much they are here. Some of them were fake, some of them we got fake packs, but some of them we didn't. And I'm pretty sure I've got like a shiny, a reverse holo, a reverse holographic ground on, and stuff like that. Nice. 
It looks pretty cool. I would actually go and get them, but like, I think it's too far away and I'd end up pulling the microphone out and this would be a very awkward conversation. No, yeah. I can't reach. If only I have one of those grabby things. We could play, guess what po- what's that Pokemon? It's Groudon! <laughs> Yay! Oh dear. Uh, I was more of a Yu-Gi-Oh card collector. I never really got into any cards other than Pokemon, but that was because, you know... I didn't That's understand how to play a Pokemon card game. <laughs> oh, get, don't get me wrong, I still don't know how to play Pokemon. I just kind of just kind of went along, because I never had enough energy to do any of the moves. Yeah. I had like four or five energy cards, and that was it. It, was just, it, was just, it, did, it was really weird, though, how it worked. I just didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. My, think... my young self couldn't understand how things worked, because I was I think... mildly dumb. Oh no, it's incredible, because Pokemon games, uh, sorry, Pokemon um, cards at that time, no many, when I played them, no one that I knew played the game, they just collected it. So essentially they made a bunch of cards which could be played competitively by, el by, older, by older teens, by younger teens could be collected. Essentially now all the cards that, you, that, that I've got are illegal cards anyway now, so can't use them in actual competitive gameplay, but whatever. And you know when you buy new... The, because I bought like uh, two packs of new cards and then I got addicted on the experience and bought another one. But um, they come with like online booster packs. So you buy some cards and then you can lock cards on the online game. Which All is right. quite cool. So, depends if you like to play Pokemon cards online, which... Dunno. Dunno if that's for me. Yeah, there is a website, isn't there? For that. Yeah, uh, no, it's, actually, it's actually, you can download an app from Pokemon. It's, Oh, right, Which okay, I see. It's quite cool, actually. But yeah, oh my goodness, Pokemon is just... I'm really looking forward to, like, X and Y, and... Just generally. The... Yeah. I'm looking forward I to think... the new Mario Party. I, there's just something about Mario Party which I love. Yeah, I only found Mario Party 5 decent. I think after that, the Mario Party is essentially the same game, apart from when we were talking about, I remember the, um, the conversation we had with this, um, with Ultima on the Sonic series. Sonic Colors, I think, but that at that precise moment I was going through roller, the roller coaster place. Um, but yeah, we were talking about how we didn't like the. Well, I think it was Ultima didn't like the game, and you thought you thought it was quite good because they changed the system. How yeah, you got stars. It, I didn't think it was bad. Uh, I know he did. <laughs> I didn't. I thought it was okay. It was, yeah. it was it was a nice change. It wasn't terrible. Yeah, I mean that's the thing with Mario Party. You kind of have to change it, otherwise it's the same thing again. Yeah. Like, I enjoy Five, I enjoy playing with Five because when you play with friends, it just turns into this, you know, who can swear the fast, who can basically be Peter Capaldi the fastest. Topical joke. So, this is impossible. I, I don't know what I've missed, I really don't. <laughs> Maybe there's some secret level somewhere that you won't know until later on. I doubt it. Oh, I found something. Oh, that's good. You mean, that's, you've got that's... to have missed something. That, that I have missed something and I found the one I, well, one of the ones I missed. So that's a start. But at the same time, I've missed the queen again. Where the hell's the queen? Actually, one thing about this, what's it, uh, one thing about Rayman is, I just really want to see a Rayman 2, a Rayman 3D game again. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier. I mean, I... Because the original Rayman 4 was really cool, they were remaking levels from Rayman 1 in 3D and um, Dark Rayman would be back and stuff, so it was a really interesting idea that they had. It's just, it's just a shame that, oh crap, it's just a shame it got cancelled. I think look, uh, another thing is, them releasing Rayman 3 HD, which wasn't a very good port. No, it wasn't. Well, it, it wasn't a very good upscale job. Because, um, actually, have you heard, I know you have you never played Final Fantasy X. And you know what, obviously E3, I was absolutely slating the demo that we yeah. got our hands on. Um, from what I've seen, it's vastly improved now. Yeah, you said. Up, yeah, they've upscaled the music, which, oh, sounds so good. I was like, you know, it's just awesome. I think that's, that, if, um, oh, what's it called? Wind Waker doesn't have music with a different sound engine than the one that was on the game when it was released in 2000 and whatever, you know, heads will roll. Let's just yeah. put it that way. You know what I'm like, Mike. Yeah. With Kingdom Hearts, we're getting wonderful new music. Yeah, reorchestrated soundtracks. Yeah, and you see, that reorchestrated soundtrack made Cyber's um, Cyber's run so much more interesting. Yes. So, well, it, it did make it so much more interesting. That's, that's a bit for me to say, but it made it so much more tense. 
Ah, oh, that's the other team I missed. There we go. Oh, there we go. One more go. One more to go, though. Well, it's that's just it's just the queen which I've missed because it's a secret door somewhere. Mm. I had to, I have to have missed it unless it's through here, but I highly doubt that. So I literally have no idea where where the queen is at all. Oh, oh well, you've got enough team seats, haven't you? Sorry, not team seats. You've got enough uh, level. Yes, now I do. Just. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've got enough. I got over 600. So essentially, you're only missing one thing. Yeah, I'll just... I'll get the queen later. I, I will mean, find the queen later. Is, like, when's the game supposed to come out? 24th. Tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So the game hasn't come out yet. Once the game comes out, I guess we can start seeing people actually. Well, people know. got review copies. Quite a few people got review copies. So, yeah, they yeah. already started doing it. Some, I think, someone's uploaded the entire game. So if I need to, I can look at it, but I probably won't.